Recently, Takashi 69 was in the news for being attacked and beaten inside of a Florida gym by Latin Kings. What are your thoughts on that situation? I don't know good, but I work out. <laughs> Man, I laugh my ass off, bro. <laughs> my stomach was so goddamn tight, I feel like I had been using the air wheel for an hour. When I seen the video, mm -hmm. I, I, I didn't believe it. Like, it was too much for me to take in, but it's always been like that with this little dude. Because when you look at him, you got green, yellow, purple, and yeah. then flooded you right quick. Man, a guy you don't know if he, you know, yeah. kind of resembles a mouse when you look at him. And I, real talk. So you know, I, this is some weird shit. But when I seen, I like, man, what is this going on? I know it's some LBGTQ movie going on. Mm -hmm. So I thought this was some type of content about that, like somebody that felt like they was called out of context or something. Yeah. And they was protesting. And then I read the comment. I said, wait a minute, this six nine mm. with a goddamn feather down pupper jacket on. <laughs> 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 and when I seen what it was about, man, I rose up. You ever seen? Um, do you remember the first time you seen Rocky, and you and you you understood that this was the underdog? Yeah. yeah and when yeah. you seen he was getting his ass, but when he went to win it, you went to you get the yeah. tickles. You be like, yeah. ooh, you yeah. go. To, that's how I the the, the energy I got when I seen the nigga whooping his ass. <laughs> I said, ooh, ooh. <laughs> They were talking to him about their tan as Hey, so, real talk. They got a guy named Joe Swole that creates content about uh, the gym industry, which is a big industry, bro. Like health and fitness is is it's another world. It's kind of like its own uh, culture. Yeah. It is it's, it's big. You see what I'm saying? But Joe Swole is a guy who uh, makes content about content. It's mostly um, stitches that he'll do. The way mm -hmm. he'll come across content to where people is behaving the wrong way in the gym. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And he'll, you know, post a video, then come right behind it with his own video saying like this is this is not right. You should be in this bitch minding your own business. You feel what I'm saying? This is a, a safe place for people where everyone's coming in here on a positive kick by default because they're trying to make themselves better than what they currently are. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Or uh, <clears throat> I was kinda curious to what this all <laughs> His thoughts would be on that situation. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, that's kind of like some crazy shit. Like, uh, you got rules to one world, and you got rules to another world that can that collide. Collide, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Like, in a gym, like, that type of behavior, is, that's that's not cool. You see what I'm saying? I that's haven't it. heard of that. Right, because gym. people be in that bitch so vulnerable because they in that bitch exercising, like, their energy levels might not be at where they'll be at if they had to, like, out of survival, like run or defend themselves, yeah. Or it might be using some dangerous equipment at the time, and some some bad shit kick off. That'll score some matter for life. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Or where they don't even much want to exercise no more. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? <clears throat> or but the way this situation is, the gym didn't didn't remain a gym when these dudes seen who it was. That bitch immediately became a wreck yard. <laughs> Real talk. Real right? talk. It was like, man, we <laughs> Put this red man nigga in general population. Boy, come <laughs> <laughs> well, he hit that boy one. <laughs> like they call him walking down the walk with that old bitch. Hey, real talk. Real talk.